China approves wheat, soy imports from Russia, China was the biggest buyer of U.S. soy until last year. Here's a summary of the article. Beijing, China has approved wheat imports from the Russian region of Kurgan, the Chinese Customs Office said on Friday, bringing Russia a step closer to its goal of dramatically increasing grain exports. It also approved soybean imports from all parts of Russia, the General Administration of Customs said in a separate statement on its website, having all but halted U.S. soy imports as the trade dispute between Beijing and Washington deepened. Russia, already the world's top wheat exporter, plans to invest billions of dollars in grain infrastructure and logistics with the aim of raising its exports of the commodity to at least 55.9 million tons by 2035. The figure, outlined in a 2035 strategy published by Russia's Agriculture Ministry earlier this month, could be as high as 63.6 million tons, its optimistic scenario forecasts showed. This year, Russia is expected to export 41.9 million tons of grain, including 31.4 million tons of wheat, according to Savkon, one of Russia's leading agriculture consultancies. Russian grain supplies could play a key role in President Vladimir Putin's plan, announced a year ago, to increase the country's exports of agricultural products to $45 billion by 2024. China is already importing wheat from six other Russian regions. This post received a score of 23,019, with an upvote ratio of 93%. Here are the top comments in response to this article. Part of the plan? Well in light of the recent joint exercises between China and Russia it seems we have a new team in the game. This is what people aren't realizing, if China isn't reliant on USA for trade, we will not have power over them anymore and them, Russia and North Korea will all have the power to do whatever they want in their little communist trio. And as they gain power, the democratic nations are slowly being divided. Edit, okay, more of an authoritarian trio not communist, I apologize. Russia is all the worst parts of capitalism framed and hung on the wall. Calling them a communist trio is laughable. Authoritarian trio would be a more apt description. Fascist authoritarian trio. America had a chance to create a stable, lawful world order but completely fucked it up in 2003. Americans have no one to blame but themselves. The fact that natural rivals like Iran, Russia, and China are now working together in mutual defense, shows how much of a militaristic rogue state the U.S. has become. Farmers must be tired after all this winning. He subsidizes his voters. To the tune of like 9% of what the farmers would get at the market rate for their crop yield per acre. But Libs equals owned. That's clearly got to be worth a 91% drop in income, right? What else should a farmer have expected for voting a serial bankruptor into office? Hey at least he's running the country like a business. About to be a bankrupt business. Guess who's getting an even bigger subsidy next year while conservatives unironically complain about big government socialism? Big corporate ag. Meanwhile small farms are going broke. $800 in subsidies doesn't even keep the lights on. And then the small farms will probably be forced to sell their farms to the big corporate ag, at a fraction of what they would be worth just a couple of years ago. So Russia benefits from Trump's tariffs? Unbelievable. Oleg Deripaska put $200 million into producing aluminum in Kentucky. Which is a dog shit investment unless you have 25% tariffs on aluminum imported from Canada, Mexico, China and the EU. What a coincidence. We're going to win so much, you're going to be so sick and tired of winning, you're going to come to me and go, please, please, we can't win anymore. Actual quote? Holly hell. Farmers rejoice. Yay, MAGA, make agriculture go away. Fucking brilliant. I'm making this hat ASAP. ASAP, another shitty ass president. One thing that Trump successfully achieved, is to make the other countries, not just China, realize that the U.S. is not a dependable trading partner or military alliance. This applies to the EU, Japan, South Korea, China. It may take decades, but the decouple planning is sure in process. This video was automatically created by Reddit to speech. The article and comments in this video were selected from Reddit according to their upvotes, and any paraphrasing was performed by smmry.com, without any human intervention.